All right, well, I'm gonna show you guys how to check for your, uh, how to test your MSD box. Because these engines, if you don't put a uh, rev limiter on them, well, I heard a few engines back in like the 2018 season. My MSD system was not working properly. I thought it was maxing RPM at 9,000, but it was not doing so. And it wasn't even the fault of the box itself. It was the, um, the chip that you stick in there. Sometimes they might be at faulty ones and you can't tell. You, you, you think you're putting on a 9,000 chip, but it really doesn't work. It's been damaged or something's wrong with it and it actually revs much higher than that. Um, it could be your box, it could be your two-step module, it could be a bunch of things, but one way to test so you don't have to rev your engine in the parking lot and sound like a Honda driver, you can do is this. They sell this uh, ignition testers. This is ancient, very, very ancient. And it's, uh, uh, I don't know, probably 20 years old, but there's newer models with more features and, and cooler stuff. But for what we do with this Volkswagens, this is pretty much all you need, right? So what you do is uh, you hook up the red wire to your to your power source, which would be for me right there. The uh, this battery this goes straight to the battery to my to my starter, right? If you have a normal car, it could be your alternator, the, the uh, positive on top of the alternator, right? Uh, the black one goes to a ground source, which I just stuck it on the head, right? Whatever, it's easy. And then you take the spark plug off, or you just hook up a spark plug, and then you ground, you, you, you ground it. You make sure it's grounded. I just stuck it right there. It's, it's touching metal on metal, right? And then you put the white wire to the purple lead that goes to the MSD box. I just took some welding rod, stuck it in there because I don't have the adapter. We lost it actually we never had it it just came without it so we just stuck the um welding rod to it and check it out now we are ready to roll at this point the car is on the ignition system is turned on the power on the main disconnect is on and check out the spark right so now this is the uh, course it's, it tells you rpms so now you can check out right here let's put it at uh, so 6,000, 6,500. And then this is 7,000, 7,500 almost, 75, right there. 7,500. Then let's take it to 8, 80, 8,250, right? Let's check to see exactly when my chip is, I put a nine, thousand rpm chip in the car and let's see if it actually cuts it off at nine thousand well there it is it you put a nine thousand chip on it but it's actually cutting it off a little before that so let's see if it gets to this is the fine adjustment right here so let's take it to 89 we're at nine thousand nine fifteen eighteen nine thousand seventy four 77 is the actual cutoff, 79. That's a two-step right there. That's not the two-step, that's the max RPM. That's the max RPM rev limiter. Right there, no more spark, All right? So 9,000 chip, cuts it, around, cuts it off right around 9,000. All right? So now let's hit the two, uh, hit the, uh, the launch. Okay, so we have a, a, e -bra a staging brake on the car that activates a two-step. And this is how you find out if your two-step is actually working. There it is. So the car leaves the line at exactly 80, 82. There's a fine adjustment right now. Let's go a little higher. Okay, 82, 82, 82, 80, 82, 85. That's a two step right there. So let go. You see that? Now we got spark again. Hit it. Two step. Let go. There we got power again. 
So that way you guys can choose um, not blow your engine up or have to rev it up, turn it on to see if your electronics are working. Okay. All right, so let's see. You think you have your... So in the car right now, there's an 82 for the two-step, right? Yeah, 8200, 8, no, 8400 chip, right? Oh, and it's at 92. Okay, 84, right? So it says it's a 92, and it actually cuts off right at 9,000. And... So it's not even getting to 9,100. Let's see. Yeah, 89. Okay, 9, 970. 9,070 RPMs. And the chip says it's 9,200. So from the from the testing machine that proves to be a lie and the chip on the 8400 that is supposed to be two stepping in it's actually at let's see Ben get back in there it's supposed to be at 8400 right so let's put it at 8400 let's see let's see we can put it at 8400 now I ran out of fine adjustment let's see let's put it at 80 no. That's 8400 right there, right? 8410, 84, 8400. Mm -hmm. But there's no spark, right? Okay, that's good. But let's see how far down you can take it to before you actually get the spark back. You have to go down to 82. 82. Eighty-two, eighty. So it's more like an eighty-three hundred, yeah. not an eighty-four hundred. So it's also a hundred off. So don't believe those chips. They're they're close, but they're not exactly. For you to actually get the right number, you're gonna have to um, write it in yourself. Get yourself a label maker and put in what they actually are at, and you should check all of your all of the chips you got. Make sure they all like have a number to them, a real number to it. So when you're out there putting a chip in it, it actually does what you're supposed to, what it's supposed to do. And you're not lost putting, thinking you're only going 100 and actually you go 200 or you go 300 and now you blow the tires and you throw a whole pass away. So, cool.